Hi friends, I'm Shepard and for the next couple of minutes I'm going to be your internet gardener for the day. This is the initial episode of one out of four monthly mini-series, so keep an eye out for more to come. In today's episode, what could be flowering in your garden, we're going to be talking about a specific variation of Iris Syrincum striatum. This variation is characterized by beautiful clusters at regular intervals all along the spike of the iris. This variation is not to be confused with the most popular variation, which is Cicerincum californicum, which normally is native to California, likes pond environments, and is typically characterized by a single flower on each spike. I'll put a link in the description or a photo for ease of identification. Interesting fact about these irises is that it is said that their name derives from the Greek goddess of the rainbow, Iris. These irises normally flower from late spring to early summer and they will last you a couple of months. Their foliage is semi-evergreen though, so they will last you almost all year. Now another thing you can notice about their foliage is that it is very sword-like, which is actually very resembling gladioli and crocuses, which they're related to. It normally grows from around 30 to 60 centimeters high, and that is perfect for small gardens that you want structure and height in when you're afraid to put shrubs and trees that would make your garden seem smaller. These irises normally like well-drained, poor to moderate soil and are drought resistant, so they are perfect for people who forget to water their plants often. Another interesting fact about these irises is that these beautiful flowers open every single morning and close every single dusk. For propagation of these irises, you can wait until they self-seed themselves or it is recommended that you actually divide them each year to ensure a full bloomage. If you fell in love with these plants as I did and think these flowers are so cute you could eat them up, please don't. They are very dangerous when ingested. Thank you for joining me today in knowing this beautiful variation of iris, Cicerincum striatum. And you can check us out on Busy Lizzie Gardening at Facebook and give us a like and a share. Stay tuned in for next week's Gordon Friend or Foe.